Now, Benny posted on Facebook about the search for your son. What did the post say? He shared a flyer to help him find him. Well, that's the flyer, and then he posts beside it. Please, if you hear anything about him or where he's at, notify Eastman's dad and send prayers out for his family. Yeah, that's trying to get him off track, you know, because I'd been at their house, you know, and I told him, I, I looked him in the eyes and said, I will stop at nothing. So, at this point, you think he put this up purposely? Yeah, to, to draw, you know, to throw attention off of himself, that's obvious. Uh-huh. Yeah, because he knew, yeah, this was, this was long, long done when, when he put that up there. He knew all the information already. He was the missing piece. How do you feel about that? I have some anger. They did the worst possible thing to my son, and he's trying to hide it right here. I think he knew he wasn't going to get away with it because I knew for a fact that he was the last person to talk to my son. Did the police or anyone comment on this post? No. Because the post has red flags. He's referring to your son without his name. Oh, yeah, there was some red flags when, when I went with my father-in-law and spoke to him. They were, he was sad. He's like, well, I just can't believe he's gone. Well, nobody said he's gone yet. And then uh, his older brother, Jonathan, he's like, I'm sorry to hear what happened to Ben. We haven't said anything. We're just looking for him. Nobody said anything has happened to him yet. And, you know, so, so these two are are alluding to the fact that something has happened before anybody said something has happened. Mm -hmm. Did that go off in your head at the time? Yeah. Well, it went off in my father-in-law's head. I was, I was just trying to get, trying to look at their knuckles or their hands, look for any kind of, you know, if they've hit somebody or. Right. And the mother, had, you know, she come out to be their spokesperson, and the mother had, had said she knew about the camping trip at 3:30 in the morning, and she was waiting out there for him and wondered why he didn't show up. And we're like, well, why, why are you waiting for my son at 3.30 in the morning, you know? But you're saying that she was aware of what allegedly had taken place? Yes, there's no doubt in my mind she was aware. So they came home and told her or she knew about it ahead of time? They, I'm, I'm thinking they, they panicked. Somebody coached him, I'm not, I'm not trying to say she did, but who else is gonna coach him? So she would be suspect? Yeah. yeah. When you go over there to talk to them, you're suspicious because he's the last person to have talked mm -hmm. to your son? Yeah. That's why you're suspicious. That's why I'm suspicious. But then when you get there, you start just not feeling right. Got it. Uh, did you tell him that? Did you no, say, hey, no, come I, on. I just kind of walked away and we, you know, when we left, we, we, it was like, when you, when you get the sheriff over there. When you left, did they think they had pulled this off, pulled the wool over your eyes, or did they think, yeah, this is not going well? Uh, I think they thought they might have got me, you Smoothed know. Smoothed it over? Yeah.